Hi, this is Mike from Solid Affiliate, and today I'll take you through uh, a re relatively large plugin update that was just released. Um, it features uh, over a month of improvements, uh, listening to feedback, in improving the entire plugin in terms of performance, robustness, styling, helpful features throughout. Uh, you can read about those individually here. Um, in general, the plugin is simply getting better across the, across the board. And the highlight feature of this update is the store credit functionality. So now Solid Affiliate includes built right into it an entire store credit system. So you can pay your affiliates in store credit and then the affiliates can uh, redeem that store credit across any WooCommerce store. It's completely integrated, takes no setup, you click a button and it works. And as with everything in Solid Affiliate, uh, you can expect historical logs, all the data being accurate. You won't ever lose any information on exactly how much store credit is, has been given out, where it was used, by who, etc. So I'll just take you through that right now. Um, within Solid Affiliate, you'll see that there's a store credit add-on now. Um, it's included, you don't need an additional plugin. You simply go to add-ons and enable this store credit functionality if it's not already enabled on your site. Um, and then you'll see the overview page, which explains the, the add-on um, and also shows exactly how much out total outstanding store credit there is. So this is sort of like an accounting liability. You can say in this situation, there's a total of $29,000 of store credit that's been dished out to all the affiliates that they can use at any given time, uh, as well as how much has been redeemed. <clears throat> You'll see a, a historical log of all store credit transactions. So which affiliate, how much they received or spent, um, and exactly where that came from. So you know here it was eighteen dollars of store credit spent on an order. Here an admin manually added twenty twenty dollars worth of store credit to this affiliate. Uh, here it came through the integrated pay affiliates tool. Basically, it works how you'd expect a robust store credit system to function. Um, <clears throat> if we go into any affiliate profile within the Solid Affiliate Admin, uh, you'll see that the backend profile has been redesigned quite thoroughly. Um, things are s much more organized now, um, and you'll see that there's a store credit component uh, to every affiliate page where you can adjust the store credit, add, remove manually, see this affiliate store credit, again, what you'd expect. Um, as part of this redesign, you'll see a much more prominent affiliate portal preview button now. This allows you to preview the portal as if you were logged in as any affiliate. Um, it, a, a nice, helpful feature. Um, the aff affiliate portal has also been redesigned as part of this, as part of this update. Um, additional styling changes, a couple new tabs, more information such as the available store credit, uh, generally just taking steps in the right direction as per feedback. Okay. Um, and then, of course, the affiliates can actually use their store credit. So WooCommerce does not come with a store credit system built in. This adds that entire system. Uh, so here I am logged in as an affiliate. I have a beanie in my cart. I have some store credit as part of, uh, as, as part of my profile. I see this here. I have $200 with the store credit. I can click this to apply. The, the store credit is applied, and then I can proceed to check out and get my items. Um, again, exactly how you'd expect it. All, everything will be logged uh, behind the scenes. You'll see on the order that the store credit was used. The affiliate can see that the store credit was used. It'll automatically reduce the store credit amount. Um, if they update the cart, the store credit will be updated as well. Um, so a nice, robust, easy to use store credit system. Cool. So besides that, um, <clears throat> there are just a number of nice features and improvements. For example, you can now set 0% or $0 for any commission rate override, right? So you can say for this specific affiliate and this product, 0%. Effectively using that to, to um, <clears throat> target and disable specific you know, affiliate type commissions and combinations of things. Maybe a group is disabled for a certain amount of time, something like this. Um, an improved uh, MailChimp integration, more documentation. In general, the email functionality in Solid Affiliate took a big step in the right direction. Um, you can now preview any of the emails with the click of the button. You know, it'll send an email to a testing address. Um, you, you can resend email notifications to your affiliate after the fact. There are new WooCommerce tags in the email, so you can, you know, as part of the email notifications, you can say, okay, well, who, who was the customer? How much was it for? And you can give that information to the affiliate. 
you can also now optionally display customer information to the affiliates in their portals if that's the setup your business requires. Um, <clears throat> You can now disable uh, referrals for coupons entirely. So for a given coupon, just disable all referrals across the store. Um, there were improvements to the reCAPTCHA integration in the registration form. Um, <clears throat> there are improvements to manually creating referrals. There's a form in the back end for manually creating them. We've improved that functionality. Um, and then quite a bit of styling improvements throughout the site. So these are little things, dozens and dozens of little features and polish and, and pieces of polish that aren't worth talking about individually, but overall feels like a breath of fresh air. Um, the, the plugin is feeling more and more and more modern and easier and easier to use, which is the constant, constant kind of goal here. You know, for example, you can click this now and you can hide and remove. Uh, any columns from the tables and there are more and more columns being added. We changed the default hidden and shown columns to to give new users kind of a, a gentler introdu introduction to the plugin, things of this nature. So in general, I hope you all have a solid day. I deeply appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and for using Solid Affiliate. I, if you're watching this, I highly recommend updating the plugin. Um, there are more, way more features and improvements than are shown in this video. There are performance improvements, security improvements, and there's just no reason not to. Um, and yeah, and there are more exciting features right around the corner. So everyone who's watching this, thank you. Keep in touch. Give us your feedback. Let us know how you like the store credit feature and what you want to see added. Um, we have quite a bit of a, a quite an aggressive roadmap here in the in the coming months. So stay tuned for videos like this and uh, the exciting new features. Thank you very much and have a solid day.